Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? I don't believe so, Captain. Transmission incoming. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? I certainly wouldn't call it boring, especially if your idea of fun involves navigating a hostile biosphere populated by carnivorous monsters. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Goodbye. Good to see you, boss. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. 
Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Yeah, because I got sick of being ignored. Got sick of being a nobody. So yeah, I made some noise. Got in a couple scraps. Nobody else in the Groundbreaker is going to look after you. So you had to look after yourself. Learn that real quick. If I never got in that scuffle with my old foreman, you and I never would have met. You'd be off having adventures without me, and I'd still be working on the docks. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a tossball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized, too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Hey there. Something on your mind? As always, I am at your disposal. Anything you'd like to discuss?